In this problem, we are told to consider the sinusoidal voltage of Vt is equal to 170 times the cosine with our 120 pi t minus 60 degrees. This is in volts. We are told to find A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, which are different questions regarding this sinusoidal voltage. First, we are asked what is the maximum amplitude of our voltage? Well, when we are given a sinusoidal equation like this, we know that the Vmax is always going to be the number outside of our cosine or sine. So that means our Vm is our Vmax, and this is going to be 170 volts. Next, we are asked what is the frequency Vt in hertz? Well, we are given our omega here, so we can use the omega formula linked in the notes below the like button, and it is that our omega is equal to 2 pi times f, and we need to find our f. So we are just going to plug in for our omega. Looking at our sinusoidal formula, we have 120 times pi. So we will plug this in for our omega. And this is set equal to our 2 pi f. Now in here, we are going to cancel some things out. We can cancel our pi's out because they're on different sides. And now we are going to divide both sides by 2. And this will give us a 60 here. That means our frequency is going to be 60 hertz. Next, we are asked, what is the frequency of Vt? in radians per second. So now we have to find the omega for it. Well, we can plug our frequency back in, or we know that this 120 pi is the frequency because that is the frequency in the sinusoidal voltage equation. So what we're going to have to do is multiply 120 by pi, and this is going to give us approximately 377 rads per second. Next we're asked, what is the phase angle in radians? But I'm going to actually look at E first, and it is what is the phase angle in degrees? Well, for a phase angle in degrees, we can look back at the sinusoidal voltage formula where we have this negative 60 degrees right here. This is our phase angle, so for part E, this is going to be your answer, negative 60. Now, to get this into radians up here, we need to convert this. So we will have our negative 60 times pi divided by 180. That way the degrees cancel out and we are just left with radians. And this is going to give us approximately negative 1.05 radians. Next we are asked what is the period in milliseconds? To find the period we can use the formula also linked in the notes in the description that RT is equal to the inverse of frequency. This is the same as 1 divided by F. And we know that our frequency we found earlier to be 60 Hertz. So we are just going to have 1 divided by 60. This is going to give us approximately 0 0.167. Now, this is in seconds because time is measured in seconds. However, the question is asking for us in milliseconds. So we are going to multiply this by 1 milli over 10 to the negative cubed. And this is going to give us approximately 17 milliseconds. Lastly, we are asked what is the time after t is equal to 0 that our vt is equal to 170 volts. So we are given our equation right here. And now we need to plug 170 in for our voltage. So on the left side, we will have 170 volts is equal to our 170 times the cosine of our omega, which we know to be 120 pi, times t minus the 60 degrees. And this is for volts. Well, we can divide both sides by the volts and the 170. So that means on the left side, we are just going to be left with a 1. And on the right side, we are just going to set this equal to the cosine with our 120 pi t minus 60 degrees. From here, we are going to take the arc cosine or cosine of negative 1 for both sides. That way we can get everything on the right by itself outside of parentheses. And we are going to do this, make sure the calculator is in radians because the 1 is a radian. This will give us a 0. So now we can start moving things over. We will move our 60 degrees over to the left side, that way it's a positive. And then we are going to divide both sides by our 120 pi and set this equal to our t. That way our t is by itself. Now we can see that we have a degrees right here and we are dividing it by a radian. This isn't necessarily going to work. So what we have to do is multiply our top 60 degrees by a pi over 180. That way we make it a radians. So now it's going to look like this. We can rewrite this and put the 180 on the bottom with our 120, combining it all together. And this is what our final equation is going to look like. Now, seeing this, we can cancel out the pi's, 
we can cancel out this 60 with this 120 and we're going to get a 1 over 2. So our t is going to be equal to 1 divided by 180 times 2 or that our t is equal to approximately 0 0.0028. Now this is going to be in seconds as well. We want this in milliseconds again, so we're multiplying this by 1 milli over 10 to the negative cubed. So we'll move our decimal 1 to 3 over, and this is going to give us approximately 2.8 milliseconds. And this is going to be the answer for part G. And that is how you would go about solving this problem.